It's spring break for many of the nation's college students, a time to escape the books and spend time somewhere warm, usually drinking something cool. Well, now to a different kind of spring break story. Not all college students are interested in the usual routine of beaches and bars. Many are opting for a more constructive way to spend their time away from school. Hi, I'm Martinega. I'm a documentary filmmaker, and I'm making a movie about a revolution in the way our culture interacts with the third world. In the past 10 years, we've seen a rise in a unique kind of travel. People are taking time out of their busy schedules to immerse themselves and volunteer in developing countries. Chances are, you know someone who's volunteered overseas in a trip described as short-term service, alternative spring break, or a volunteer vacation. Well, these trips have started a movement, a movement that combines the largest industry in the world, travel and tourism, with the largest nonprofit sector in the world, volunteering. Okay, so we're here to talk about volunteerism, and I'm not sure if the Oxford English Dictionary has yet accepted that as a proper English word, but that's what we're going with. Uh, it's not a new phenomenon, but it is a growing trend. Ben, why don't we start with you? Why don't you tell me, what does the term volunteerism mean to you? For me, volunteerism is an opportunity that people pay for. That to me is volunteerism. I and mean, most volunteerism opportunities are short term, for a week, two weeks, three weeks, usually not more than a month or two. Volunteerism offers people the opportunity to see a new place and explore a different culture while helping out with local community projects. But why would anyone want to travel across the globe to help someone they've never met? Well, I think people want to give back. And if they can go see the world and give back at the same time, they feel like they're having an adventure that is good for the world and also good for themselves. People have done Europe. People have uh, traveled around. And this is everyone's looking for more. And this has become a very popular more. Travelers often come back with stories about immense self-discovery and personal growth and have a better understanding of their place in the world. Despite all of these good things, volunteerism has sparked fierce debates about the ethics of short-term volunteer work and whether the volunteers benefit more than the people they come to help. In the way that volunteerism happens, is it ethical? I would have to say no, because they're not there long enough. Realistically, in two weeks, we're not going to change the world. Uh, but at the same time, um, we are going to expose that individual or the student to a component of the world that otherwise they may not have had. I think that there can be some learning experiences that are structured and that are constructive on both sides, but all too often that isn't the case, and it becomes about what you've learned, what you get out of it, and what, how this looks on your resume, how this helps you to get through your university courses. Um, and it isn't about giving back anymore. Look, this volunteerism is not going away. There's a huge market for it, it's only increasing. But we can use the work of Barbara and others who see the problems of it to make the sector better and stronger and more sustainable. To explore this issue, I'm going to follow one group of students from Stonehill College on an alternative spring break trip to Canto Grande, Peru, one of the poorest districts of Lima. For eight days, the students will volunteer at a local school and rehab center, learn Peruvian traditions, and witness extreme poverty firsthand. And while it's crucial to capture this sort of life-altering experience, it's equally important to tell the story from Canto Grande's point of view, which is why I'm going to spend just as much time with the locals, the Peruvian school teachers, physical therapists, and hosts who make this experience possible, and see what their lives are like, and how the travelers affect them. It's one thing to see the commercials on TV and send money, but like, People relate when they're in it, and they live it, and they see it, and they experience it. And, and I think in order for you know, people to change, and, and, and as, a, as a world, as a global community, to sort of support one another and, and, and really alleviate all the social injustices, that you can't just tell people about it or show them pictures. Like at some point, you have to actually live it. To bring this project to life, I need a little help. With your donation, I'll be able to afford to travel with the group this March buy editing space and rent any necessary camera equipment to film for a week. This first trip is just the start, but it will allow me to create a trailer to continue raising money to finish the film. With the help of friends, family, and the volunteerism community, I know this will be a poignant human story that will bring this movement to the forefront and give it the attention it deserves.